hello beautiful and amazing people it's your favorite mommy in the house welcome back to my youtube channel so on today's episode i'll be showing you guys what i do to grow my daughter's hair and this recipe i want to show you is what i use for her hair twice monthly so for this recipe you are going to need egg coconut oil honey and a blend of any essential oil you have i'm going to use a blend of onion oil almond oil and also onion oil that i already made okay for this recipe there is no particular measurement okay i'm going to use two eggs because her hair is not that much so it depends on the volume of your hair that's what will determine the amount of ingredients that you will need So I'm done with the preparation and I want to apply it to her hair now. If you notice, I have stopped using rubber bands for her hair because I notice rubber bands actually eat off her edges, like they remove her edges. So I decided to go with this cutting band. Okay, so please I would advise that if you use rubber bands for your baby or toddler, please look for an alternative you can get cutting band instead it will reduce hair breakage please do not use rubber bands for your baby's hair okay it will break her hair when you want to take it out and all her edges will be gone When applying this mixture to the hair, make sure it touches every corner of the hair. So take your time to massage it and make sure it touches every strand of her hair. Okay, it is very important that this mixture gets into every corner of her hair. So take your time and massage gently. After the application, I'm supposed to cover her hair with a shower cap to let it steam for at least 30 minutes but madame will not sit still. She tore the kawa cap and I had to improvise but yet she did not let it stay so I just had to wash it out in less than 30 minutes so this is what we have. After washing her hair, I go in with these products before i make her hair for the day she has a very hard type of hair so i have to make her hair immediately i wash it this right here is her spray bottle it's a mixture of cloves palm carne oil and a little bit of other essential oils i use this daily on her hair <laughs> So to begin, I spray her hair with the mixture of cloves and oils. Then I go in with the Jamaican black castor oil. I make sure I apply it generously because it's actually softening the hair. When you apply Jamaican black castor oil, you notice that the hair gets soft instantly. And you want to make sure you're massaging it. Massage is very important for hair growth. It stimulates the scalp, make the hair grow. Okay, so it's important that you massage very gently. Okay, massage is very important. So you you want to massage it properly.
and after that I go in with the aloe vera gel and I apply it and also massage it massage guys is important and after that I go in with the Cantu leave-in conditioner for kids this particular one is for kids okay not for the adults it's for kids so I go in with this and I make sure I massage massage So this is what we have after applying all the products so now i'm going to just section our hair into four because our hair is long now it can go into four i don't need to section it into five or six like her last video when she was five months old so this is her hair at 13 months old you can see the different you can see the growth the length the volume you can tell that there is really improvement so consistency is key continue using the right products and you will see very positive changes on your toddler's hair do not hold the scalp too tightly when making your baby's hair make sure it is a little bit loose to avoid bumps on her scalp which will later lead to injuries. Their scalp is still very tender at this stage, so you want to go easy on it. If you have gotten to this part of this video and you are yet to subscribe, please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it has been helpful to you, okay? Wow! Look at my baby's hair. My goodness. I feel so proud right now. I'm a proud mama. <laughs> I made a previous video when she was five months old about how I grew her bald spots and also her receding hairline. If you are yet to watch that video, I will drop the link on my description box so that you can check it out and see the difference between then and now. And also you see the updates of the hair product that I've added to our new routine. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if it has been really helpful to you. And also if you have any question regarding this routine or any question at all on tips on how to grow your baby's hair please drop your questions at the comment section i'll be so happy to answer them see you in our next video bye